Y'all, it looks like we finally know the real reason that the Braxton sisters have been hating on their sister, Tracy's husband. And honestly, it's hard to blame them. Video footage recently got leaked of Tracy's husband, Kevin Surratt Jr., putting paws on his and Tracy's son, Kevin Jr., in a fit of rage and making some horrible accusations at him. It looks like the situation got worse because the streets are saying that the cops allegedly got involved in this and Kevin Sr. could be looking at some jail time over this. But why on earth did Kevin put his paws on his own son? The Braxton family has been a hot mess in the past couple of months and it just keeps going from bad to worse. This current drama, in the first couple of episodes, they talked about their sister Tracy and how they're still grieving her loss. It was an interesting walk own way. However, the conversation soon switched to why Tracy's widower, Kevin, wasn't allowed to appear on the show and participate. The sisters were accused of hating on him for no reason. And some fans were even talking about how they were jealous because Tracy and Kevin seemingly had a good relationship until she passed. Kevin also went live to hint that there was some strain between him and his sisters-in-law. The other thing is, I really want people to understand this part. <laughs> to death did us part. Please understand that. Please do some narratives will not include that in that situation and uh, I, I thank God that uh, he gave us that and uh, like with me and my son I'm doing everything I can to make sure he's good see we have a whole nother village you know what I mean that was always there for us whole nother village and that village came and embraced us and helped us on many levels when we, when we found out about Tracy uh, having cancer December the 15th, 2020 at uh, Georgetown Hospital, uh, we had went through some stuff. Uh, prior to that, we was in California. As they brought up, we was out there taping. Tracy talked about she couldn't swallow. I immediately called the doctor. You know, thank God our doctor was always there for us. Thank you, Dr. C. And... Um, we set it up. By the time I got back first, she got back, and we was in there, and they took care of us, and you know worked it from there. I mean, I think I was in the rain at uh, Fort Washington Hospital with Tony for about an hour while they did the procedure, because at that time everybody couldn't come into the hospital. So uh, we, I sat out in the car and pouring down rain, waiting for that. And the doctor called me, and I was able to pull up to the front and go inside. He explained everything to me, and then we went to Georgetown Hospital. And from there, I, Tracy didn't want to call anybody. And I made the calls because I told her that the family had to know because she needed that support. However, we soon realized that the sisters never really liked Kevin when Tracy was alive and that their marriage wasn't as solid as it looked from the outside because they often had some serious disagreements. Just tell me what to do all the time. That's not what I've been You tell to me do. what to do I, all the time. I don't, I don't you do. try to tell you what to do. You tell I, me to do all the time. You're drinking too much. I like my breakfast beer. You never spend any time with me. You're always gone. You always want to hang around with the fellas all the time. You keep spending money that you're not even supposed to be spending. You never ask me, Tracy, let's go and let's think about buying something, but you just go ahead and you just take it upon yourself. Okay, I'm going to spend this money, I guess, because this is what I want. You never discuss it with me. There were also reports of cheating and some allegations that he could have had an outside baby on Tracy. But what made their relationship worse was when they accused Kevin of not respecting Tracy's last wishes for a private funeral. According to page six, Tracy did not want a funeral or wait. She did not want people looking all over her body. She specifically requested to be immediately cremated. There was a Zoom meeting that made it clear about what she wanted, and now her husband is trying to cash in on her name. Page Six went on to say that Kevin had a viewing for Tracy, but her famous sisters, Tamar, Trina, Tawanda, Tony, and their mother, Evelyn Braxton, opted out of attending. Their father, Michael Conrad Braxton, did show up, but we're told he was initially turned away at the door for not being on the list. He was so upset that he wasn't on the list. Someone from the church recognized him and let him in, and he had to sit in the fourth row. The insider said Braxton's father wasn't even allowed to speak or say any words about his daughter. However, Kevin denied the claims, and he spoke to page six, saying, My father-in-law and brother-in-law came in briefly. 
He also insisted that he invited the sisters, but they did not show up. However, Kevin insisted that he did exactly what Tracy wanted, saying, I was with my wife more than anybody in this world. I know my wife, and when she got cancer, we really started to communicate about funeral plans, and I was still trying to find treatments for her. I went to every single one of her doctor's appointments throughout our entire marriage. That's how we were, and now they're treating me like a deadbeat husband. He also said, Tracy wanted a viewing and one memorial service in conjunction with her management, PR, and other members to come together and celebrate her. At first, we thought that the sisters were the only ones who had an issue with Kevin, but as it turns out, he and his son Kevin Jr. are on the outs also, and it looks like it all has to do with money. It's wild that Kevin would treat his own son like this with everything that Kevin is going through. He lost his mom and is still grieving hard for her. His wife left him and he's grieving the loss of his marriage. He is going through some legal troubles with the cops and he is also going through some health challenges because he is reported to be suffering from seizures. With all that he is going through, you think that Kevin Jr.'s only remaining parent would be on his side and protect him, right? Well, it doesn't look that way because it seems like Kevin Sr. is hating on his own son because of his inheritance. When Tracy passed away, she left everything to her son, Kevin Jr., and not to her husband. From the sound of it, Kevin Sr. did not like that and it led... The fact that Tracy went out of her way to make sure that the will couldn't be disputed revealed her real feelings about Kevin Sr. at the end. From the looks of things, she didn't trust him at all, which is why she left every last penny and rights to her name and image to her son, and her husband didn't take it well. In fact, things between both men escalated to the point where Kevin Sr. was caught on ring door camera, putting paws on his son and accusing him of giving Tracy cancer. Me no. You told me no. You told me no. You told me no. You told me no. When I asked you if little live or not, child that's some nasty work blaming your son for giving his mom cancer is horrible especially given every other thing that kevin jr is going through Fans are now saying that Kevin Sr. is jealous because of the money and because he was hoping to get a nice chunk of Tracy's money only for him to be sidelined and that's why he put paws on him. Word on the streets is that the cops could be involved in this and that Kevin Sr. might be in some trouble. It's unclear if Kevin Jr. is going to press charges against his dad, but either way, we're going to see how this plays out. Fans commented, that video of Kevin Sr of Kevin Jr. and telling him he caused Tracy Braxton's cancer? Yeah, that man is evil. And like I told y'all before, Tracy knew exactly what she was doing, leaving everything to her son and not to that awful husband. If Tracy left everything, including the role of executioner to her son instead of her husband and asked to be recorded every time she met with her attorney, that tells me everything I need to know about her marital relationship. And this is sad. This is his son. Tracy made the right choice by not giving her husband access to money. I feel so bad for Kevin Jr., but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this and then check out this next video.